Hey guys, this is Michael, and I'm with brand new person, Danielle. I met Danielle about five minutes ago. What's up? She is familiar with the channel somewhat. And here, in this particular line, it's just got one hook on it, and we're gonna pull it all the way up. And if you can look at the hook, that's a, that is how much it weighs, and that's what it feels like with no fish. Just drop it. And then there's four more of those, and you know, if, if you pick up on it, and it don't feel any heavier than that, then just let it drop back down. Yes, sir. But anyway, real quick, for those of you that don't know you, uh, Danielle Dungeon Runner is her online uh, alias. Uh, she, uh, I'm not exactly sure why she calls herself that. What, what's the rundown of that name? All of the best nicknames are given by other people. I can't tell you why my friend Nick decided to call me Danielle Dungeon Runner, but I do run the dungeon. Okay. I stream on Twitch. That I stream on all kinds of platforms, and you can find me everywhere under Danielle Dungeon Runner. I got you. Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Yep. And if you go to www.danielledungeonrunner.com, you can see my whole art website. That is right. I got. I have two words that I wrote down for her whenever I was doing a little bit of research three minutes ago. It was <laughs> art and games. That's me. So usually I ask, what is your favorite thing to do for fun? And I'm assuming that you do a little bit of art. I do art, I paint, and I play video games. Those are my two main hobbies. We'll talk about art on this slim line. Art, what kind of art? I did look up some of your pictures, especially on Instagram. You don't have to pick it all the way up now. Just if it don't feel no heavier than that, just drop it back. I know that you do uh, kind of uh, psychedelic stuff. It looks like uh, some of your patterns and whatnot. Yes, sir. I very much like all the colors. Uh, usually the only thing that my paintings do is get more vibrant every time. And you sell art at art... Uh, art conventions, convention. art vendors. I do that. You do any good? You do it You do it for the money or fun or? I do it for the fun. Gotcha. And seeing little kids' faces whenever they see it. And they're like, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I know, baby. So I forgot to say, where are you from? Indiana. Indiana. I know a few people from Indiana recently. All the best people are there. All the best. You always been in Indiana? Yes. Grew up there. I grew up here in this town. I don't live here now, but I come back often, obviously. All right, this is gonna be a little bit different. And my phone's going Just grab that line. See the, the line coming from the tree. Ooh. Right. Oh, it, oh, it's no. under here and it's moving. All right. So we're gonna slowly go across the river. You're gonna drag the boat, and then there's gonna be I'm okay. There's gonna be periodic hooks on it, and there could be a fish on each hook. So okay. Just, just kind of take your time, because if you go too fast, the boat will get underneath the line. So she tried to explain to me what a dungeon was, and we went back and forth on it, but something to do with games. Try not to let it drag. Ooh. Yeah. What a. What kind of games are you playing? Skyrim, mostly. Uh, I went through Harry Potter. That was a whole ordeal. Um, Bioshock, a lot. Bioshock? Bioshock. Are these all like Skyrim? They're all video games, yes, RPGs. I gotcha. How many hours a, a day have you, have you spent on a video game? I don't like to... <laughs> A lot. Yeah. Almost my entire day. The entire day, except for when you're sleeping, if you're sleeping. Yep, that's what I do. That's cool, and you do Twitch streams, I notice. Yes, sir. And that, is that still Daniel Dungeon Runner? Daniel Dungeon Runner, all the like way one across. of them I looked up was just a D. D oh, Dungeon Runner. They wouldn't let me use the word dungeon in the URL. Oh, okay. 
So, like I said, I tried to look it up. I did. Uh, I did get some of your Twitch. He's on Twitter, guys. Uh, I have never been able to truly. We're supposed to call that X now. Oh, that's right. It's called X. Hold on. Let's see if we. You know, there's that goldfish I left on yesterday. But some of your tweets, I was just going to read them, and if you could just give me some insights. <laughs> sure. They, they may be old. You may not remember them. Hold on. There's something right there. See that line right there? Clearly got a fish. Uh, Ooh. Not huge. But like, ugh. One of them, one of them she tweeted, yo, what was Scar's name before he got a scar? <laughs> I mean, what was his name? Did you ever come up with a good answer to that? Nope. Just pondered on it. All right, so be careful. That thing could come off. Now, you could throw him in, but he could come off, but just get him close and just flip him up into the boat. Okay. There you go. Oh. And let, him, let him do his thing, and there is your fish. Ah. He didn't get skunked. Those of you paying attention, you know that if we catch a fish, I don't get a bucket of water over the head, so I'm safe. Oh. And uh, Danielle Dungeon Runner has caught a fish on her flying chill. That's a blue cat. He's about, I don't know, four or five pounds, so nothing huge. But. That's a big boy. I've never seen one that big. up here people seem to really like the picture of me dressed as a white trash alcoholic are you wearing a white trash bag with a PBR uh, I don't know I'm reading your tweet oh <laughs> yeah I'm usually uh I'm, I'm usually drunk when I tweet like good. well you had tweeted that I told you she probably wouldn't remember some of these some of them are like a couple years old I just scrolled and I just found the ones that might be conversation starters. Let's see. I am an official. I am officially an artist now. I know because I almost put my paintbrush in my coffee cup. And then I did put my paintbrush in my coffee oh, cup, okay. and I forgot about it and tried to drink the coffee. Did uh, Did it taste good? I got close. I didn't actually <laughs> do it. Very close. Instagram. These are like taglines. I need a shower after taking my dog out to Waz. To Waz, yes. It was terribly humid. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I painted today something, someone buy this, very large trash monster, though I wouldn't want it in my house. Oh, so that actually does come with its own side story. There was this dude who we were supposed to be friends, he like, turned into a compulsive liar all over the place. And it's, oh, oh. I had this, uh, this friend and he turned into a compulsive liar. And everything he said ended up, I found out, you know, later that everything he said was a lie. And I was like, okay, let me just paint about it. So it was actually the very first uh, spite painting mm -hmm. that I've ever done. And now it's hanging in our local bar. Oh, yeah. So they got And it, it says, Derek the monster at the bottom with actual quotes that he said to me. Oh. Uh, That's a pretty good fish. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Oh, shit. Sorry, yeah. bud. All right. If you can look at this fish and tell me if you think it's 10 pounds or more. Okay. Um, yes. No. No. 
The answer is no. <laughs> So you uh, change your hair color a lot? Seems like green has been a... Green is my natural color. It grows this way. It's because I didn't eat my vegetables as a kid. Green is her natural hair color, guys. Uh, I absolutely love that quote. It's true. I believe you. Uh, the story of how I now accept rocks as money. All right. So I was at an <laughs> art show. And one person came and bought one of my paintings. I wasn't doing fantastically this time. But this little kid keeps coming back over and looking at my things over and over. Eventually he comes back and he asks, you know, how much for this painting? Oh, baby. Uh, we, we can't afford that. And he comes back and he has a rock. He's got a rock. This little kid's got a rock. Mm. And he goes, can I have that stuffed animal for this rock? Oh, baby. Oh, no. Of course you can. Like, he really wanted it. I'm not going to deprive the kid. And now, I have a rock. Oh, do you still have the rock somewhere? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's next to my bed. How much was that rock worth? I don't know. It had some pretty crystals in it. No, I meant like, how much did he actually make it worth? Oh, $30. $30 rock. I don't know, Tara, she I got probably... I fish. Tara probably has spent $30 on a rock before, another person on the channel. She's obsessed with rocks. Huh. What's he look like? Another catfish? He's a little dude. A little bit, you want to watch out, those are the sharpest. Throw him in. If Whoop. you don't get in the boat, don't camp. There you go. Watch out, don't fall out of the boat, though. Danielle, Dungeon Runner, we're, <sighs> we've caught a mess of fish. Uh, if you didn't know, a mess is enough to feed a family and uh, the people we're fishing for. Uh, the amount of fish that we've caught will definitely feed them. So Exciting. just so you know, not only have you accepted a rock for a painting, you've caught the food for a whole family for a weekend at least. I usually get on Instagram and that's usually where I look up people. So that's where I saw you at, but I know that she's on Twitch. Uh, she has almost a thousand followers. She's on, she has other links out there. It's basically uh, a new world these days, you know, like everybody has their little followings and stuff. And uh, Danielle Dungeon Runner today, which turns out to be a gaming term. Let's see if there's anything on that first. Uh, I mean, if you want me to tie you up, all you gotta do is ask. <laughs> I told her I thought she meant s and m dungeon but then i look like an ass so <laughs> all you gotta do is that's ask it, that's it Okay. That's all right. Just I caught it. a stick. I caught a stick. It never counts. All right, guys. This is Michael and I'm with Danielle. Appreciate you swinging in. Check her out on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and I'm sure she has a lot more links. Come bait my hook.